Welcome to my facial oils. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lindsay and I bring you content on all things clean beauty and skincare. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. And if you are already, thank you. If you notice, our background is a little bit different today. We're going to be doing a skincare video, which I'm really excited about. I love talking about skincare and I hope you guys do as well. I'm gonna be showing you guys my facial oil collection, going through everything and showing you my favorites for each skin type. Really excited for this video and I hope you guys are as well. So let's get into it. All right guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. First off, I'm gonna start with what's in the front row, which is usually the oils I use the most or oils I have to test out for review. Just a disclaimer before we start, I did not purchase all these myself. I do get sent product to review on my Instagram. So yes, this is a lot of oils, way too many for one person to have, but that is my job. So that's why I have so many. No one needs this big of a collection. I talk about this on my Instagram. Don't feel pressured to like have a huge collection just because you see influencers on Instagram that have a bunch of product. It's because they get sent product to review and that's literally their job. That's what they do. So like, please don't feel like you need this many facial oils. Just wanted to say that before we started. Anyway, let's get into it. So the first oil I have here is the Orchid Oil from Herbivore. I do have a full review of this on my channel. Really lightweight, beautiful under makeup. I use this for everything, hair, nails, face. Basically like a really good multi-purpose oil. Um, the only thing I would say is the packaging is a little bulky even though it's gorgeous. But other than that, I really love this oil. And the next one I have up front here is from Youth to the People. This is their Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Oil. Love this oil. I actually already have a backup of it right here. If you're someone who doesn't like facial oils that much or is just getting into oils and doesn't want a heavy one, this one is so good. I swear this is magic because it doesn't pill with anything I've ever used with it, which is really rare for an oil. I find that some can pill with like sunscreens and products like that. This one doesn't at all. It smells so good. Mm, 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 mm really beautiful oil. I recommend this to like anybody. It's the perfect makeup primer as well. It's literally the most lightweight oil I have in my collection I would say and it does just leave you really glowy. Yeah you could tell it just like sunk right into my hand. If you guys have seen Youth to the People's new release. It's a super berry like hydrate and glow over night mask which I'm so excited to try out. I will be putting a review on my channel for that which I'm really excited to put out for you guys so keep an eye out for that. But anyway, beautiful oil, love this, like can't get enough of it, already have a backup, must have in my collection. The next one we have in the front is from Little Fox, this is their Prickly Pear Illuminating Tourmaline Infused Beauty Nectar, I got this in a Beauty Heroes box. I would say this is more of like a nighttime oil for me, it is a little bit heavier on the skin so it takes a little longer to sink in, but smells so gorgeous. It makes your skin feel really nourished and hydrated, but it's not too heavy. I would say I would prefer using this at night, but you could use it during the day as well. Just really silky feeling. Amazing. What else can I say? This has prickly pear, pomegranate seed, jasmine, and sandalwood oil to brighten even skin tone. Little Fox is a great brand if you guys haven't checked them out already. All right, put this one back. Moving on, the next oil I have is from Oli Ali Organics. It's their anti-aging intelligence face serum this says suitable for wrinkles age spots dehydration and it has six percent organic um, essential oils and it also has one percent sea buckthorn oil so as you can tell from the color just a really beautiful like mid-tone orange shade if you guys uh, prefer essential oil free skincare this one's obviously not for you but i really like this oil it has a nice lightweight fruity scent to it it's also one of those oils that's like really nourishing but also lightweight so you could use it day or night. I think the packaging is gorgeous as well. Love the black glass packaging and yeah that one is from Oli Organics again. Next up we have the Herbivore Emerald Oil. I just put out a review on this as well. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. Really love it. The scent is mm, probably one of my favorite oil scents. 
really gorgeous green hue to it. If you want to know all my thoughts about this, check out that video. I will have it linked below for your viewing pleasure. Yeah, this one's beautiful. This is perfect for nighttime, daytime, midday, anytime. I would say I prefer this one over the orchid oil just because I feel like it like does more to my skin, if you know what I'm saying. I really like the tingly feeling that this one gives me. The next oil I have up front here is actually something I'm trying out from Curata. I hope I'm saying that right. It's their Oreo. Definitely not their Oreo oil. <laughs> Oreo? Oreo? I have no idea how to say it, but this is their multi radiance oil. This smells so good, guys. I really like the packaging as well. It's super unique. It's like a really thin bottle and then it has a long dropper on it. Uh, I'm testing this out and I will probably be posting a review on my Instagram of it soon. But just to show you guys, really beautiful oil. Um, I'm not really sure what's in this oil. I'll have to look it up. But the smell is so amazing. Probably one of the best smelling oils in my collection. My hand is going to be so hydrated after this. Really beautiful. Excited to try this out more. So next we're getting into the second row of the oils. It's like a good cake. Has lots of layers to it. Next up is an oil I haven't tried out a ton. But I have used it a couple times. It's from Red Earth. They're bright and concentrate. This has cockadoo plum. One of the world's richest sources of vitamin C. I have a couple oils that has an ingredient in it as well. This also has vitamin A. It says this multitasking elixir will leave your skin refreshed and rejuvenated from the inside, from the outside in, from skin to soul. That's really cute. This oil I find takes a little bit longer to sink in, so I usually have been using it at nighttime. You can also add this like to your foundation with any facial oil. You can add it to a foundation if you need like a little more spreadability in it. But this one's really nice. I don't really have a developed opinion of it because I've only used it a couple times, but I'll definitely have to try it out more. This is from Red Earth again. It's their Bright and Concentrate. Next up, we have this little mini sized oil from Kahina Giving Beauty. It's their Argan Oil. You guys know I love Kahina Giving Beauty, one of my favorite brands. This is just their pure Argan Oil. Really high quality. I think this is empty actually. Why is it in my collection then? I actually use this mainly on my hair just because I have like so many different face oils, but this one's really beautiful on your hair. Really good quality. Kahina is a great brand if you need great quality products. I feel like I just said quality 50 different times, but hope you guys know what I'm saying. Great quality. Next, we have a product from Beneath Your Mask. It's their Nourish Skin and Hair Serum. This smells amazing. It has a hemp oil base, which I really enjoy because it's super lightweight on the skin. This I got in one of the Beauty Heroes Indie Beauty Discoveries. I also have a video on those. That's the color of it right there. This smells like lemon. Hope I didn't mess up my makeup. Okay. This has lemongrass in it, which gives it a really nice rejuvenating scent to it. Kind of smells like the Osea Andaria Body Scrub, if you guys have tried that. Kind of a weird comparison, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, this one's really nice. Beneath Your Mask is a great brand. They have a really cool story behind them. Check them out if you haven't already. You can pick this up off Beauty Heroes, I believe. Next is the Wabi Sabi Botanicals Light Reveal Serum. This little beauty does wonders for any acne scarring or if you have dark under eye circles, you could do like a little bit of this and pat it in. So amazing. It has a ton of carotenes in it, which gives it that really rich orange color. It will stain your skin a little bit, but once it sinks in, it goes away. I love Wabi Sabi because they use really unique exotic ingredients that I haven't really heard of, but they do amazing things for my skin, so definitely trust the formulas on these. I also mentioned this in my best skincare of 2018 video. If you want to hear a full review, check that video out. But yeah, that was the Wabi Sabi Botanicals Light Reveal Serum. And then we have the Lily Day My Harmony recovery serum this is one of my all-time favorite oils if you have sensitive skin definitely check out this brand i don't think they use any essential oils it's just really nourishing good for your skin ingredients this let's see it says this deeply hydrates revitalizes and renews dry distressed skin a blend of omega-3 and 6 rich plant oils i think i'm almost out of this one this is like my go-to oil if i feel like my skin is kind of just like irritated or it didn't like a product I put on it or when I have blemishes. It's just a really perfect oil for anybody who has reactive skin, sensitive skin, or if you just want a really gentle nourishing oil. 
I definitely recommend checking this one out. Lily Day Mai is one of my favorite brands for sensitive skin. So if you do have any sort of skin condition, it's a good one to check out. And then we have this go-to skincare face hero. This has a blend of 10 oils. I might be wrong with that. They sell this at Sephora. It says pure potent super oils and antioxidants penetrate to hydrate, revive, and ensure your lovely face against the appearance of fine lines and dark spots. Face Hero is your all-in-one skin guardian. Definitely agree with this really good multi-use oil. I think this would be good for any skin type. This is one of the heavier oils I own, so I would definitely only use that at nighttime or just use a really little bit of it in the morning. But this one, I really like. It doesn't have too much of a scent to it if you're like not fond of scented oils. This one's really nice. Um, like I said, I only use it at night because it's really nourishing and it does take a little bit to sink in. If you use it in the morning, just use a little bit and then give your skin some time to soak it up. Leaves my skin really soft. I do enjoy this one and I think Go To is a really cool brand. And then we have the Radiance. This is from Beauty Bio. It's their Brightening Omega and Rosehip Seed Facial Oil. I think they just released this. I did get sent this, so I've been testing it out for a while already. I do like the like little squeezy applicator on this. I think their packaging is stunning as well. I've actually been using their micro needler. If you guys like want a video on that, definitely let me know. I just started doing it, so obviously like can't show you any results yet. But I have been using that and I plan on continuing to use it and maybe I'll do some updates on like how it's affecting my skin. But this is a really nice one. Definitely more lightweight as well. Good for under makeup. I feel like I keep saying the same things, but like what else is there to say about facial oils? Um, but yeah, you could also mix this with any serum. You can mix it with foundation cool oil like it okay moving on this next oil i just got sent as well and i haven't tried out a ton but i did do a little review on my instagram this is the la saint radiant glow marula face oil this is the first marula oil i've ever tried i know drunk elephant has one marula oil is supposed to be like very well accepted by your skin i do like the feel of this it's more of a medium consistency oil so it does take a little bit to sink in but it's not too heavy so you can use it in the day or the nighttime. I like the pump. I always prefer oils in a pump because it's just like so easy to just pump it out. I feel like droppers, you can control the amount a little bit more, but also there's a lot more air going into it. So, you know, it's a give and a take, but this is a nice one and I'm excited to try it out more. All right, guys, we're almost done here. We have a couple left, basically just the back row. So let me get into it. First in the back row, we have a Bristol and Sussex Hydrate Deep Conditioning Facial Oil with CoQ10, Squalene, and Vitamin C and E. This color, gorgeous. This I find, I don't love this on my skin because it's almost like too heavy and it takes a long time to sink in. Even though it has that squalene in there, which is usually like more of a lightweight oil. This oil isn't my favorite just because I find it takes a little bit longer to sink into my skin, but I think it has sea buckthorn oil as well as some rosehip oil. I might be wrong though, it's some oil that gives it this color. I do like how it feels on my skin, it just takes a little long to sink in, which is kind of annoying to me, but would be a great nighttime oil and I do use it occasionally. Moving on, we have a Levito Pomegranate Seed Replenishing Facial Oil. This is one of my heavier oils as well. I would only use this at nighttime in the winter when my skin needs some more hydration to it. Wow, really got that thing on there. The dropper on this is weird because it's like flat and doesn't have like the shape that a dropper usually has. The smell is very herbal smelling. Not my favorite, but not bad either. It is a heavier oil, it takes a little bit longer to sink in. I think this would be great if you have a drier skin though. One of the last ones I have is from Flower Spice Modern Apothecary. It's their Midnight Beauty Rich Revitalizing Serum with Rose and Coriander. I love this oil. It says it has 10 harmonizing oils in it. It's really effective on dryness and any dullness I have as well. When I wake up, I feel like I look glowy as heck with this. This has prickly pear seed oil, evening primrose, jojoba seed oil, argan oil, sacha inchi oil, apricot oil, plum oil, sunflower seed oil, coriander, bergamot, white rose, rose otto, and then some essential oils in the end as well. It's more of a light to clear colored oil. I like this for morning and night. It is lightweight enough that you can use it under makeup and it doesn't really interfere with anything. 
also smells beautiful really love it the last one in here i should actually move to the front because i haven't tried this out a ton it's from lani it's their tropical super serum this has watermelon seed oil is the first oil which is really interesting because i don't have any oils that uh, have a base of watermelon seed oil and i've been really interested to see like how my skin reacts to that it says silky and almost weightless it absorbs quickly to reveal a hydrated balance and nourish complexion yeah i'm definitely gonna have to move this uh to the front and try it out more it has jasmine in there let me see how it smells hmm. definitely has a really light jasmine scent to it not as strong as the herbivore orchid oil Oh my god, I keep getting it on my nose. So yeah, that is that one. I think that is everything. That was it for my facial oil collection. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or you need recommendations, feel free to let me know below. I love connecting with you guys and I love to hear your input. So don't be scared to type away down there. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to join me. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.